Now, in 1963, the Equal Pay Act went into effect, yet here we are in 2022 still fighting to close the wage gap. In honor of Women's History Month, we have Robin Paggi from Human Resource Development by Robin Paggi on today to help us gain a little more understanding and knowledge of a woman's worth in the workforce. Thank you so much for coming on today. My pleasure. So, you know, let's talk about it. Are women really being paid less than men right now? According to the 2019 census figures, yes, about 82 cents to every dollar. So how is that possible? Obviously, we're talking about the Equal Pay Act. How is that still possible? Yeah, well, and even in California in 2009, the governor at that time enhanced our Equal Pay Act, and uh, it said that employees who are uh, doing substantially similar work have to be paid the same amount of money. And so uh, even then we got a bump uh, and employers were put on high alert that you need to pay people the same for doing the same job. Now there are some caveats to it. One is productivity. If an employee produces more then uh, they get paid more. If they've been there longer then they can get paid more. If they are more qualified then then they can get paid more and so those things do come into effect and so when you say how is it that women still aren't making as much as men those are some of the things especially longevity. Women get taken out of the workforce at times because of having babies right and raising those babies Absolutely. and having to take time off to care for family members and things like that and so that is one of the reasons another one of the reasons is because women traditionally go into lower paying jobs like teaching and health care and so that's one of the things over the pandemic people who had to homeschool their children were saying teachers need to way, make way more money than they're making yeah uh, they because do. they do a very significant job but that's one of the things we tend to pay people who take care of us less money. There's something about that that just kind of, it doesn't sit right, you right. know, the fact that we expect these people to take care of us. Like you said, they take care of us when we're the most vulnerable, they take mm -hmm. care of our children when they're the most uh, vulnerable and they're learning the most, yet at the same time they're not being adequately paid for the job that they are doing. Exactly. So that's one of the things that needs to happen to equal the playing field is that we need to pay people more who are in jobs that are traditionally paid less. Another really interesting thing that I just found out is that women who have children are paid less than women who don't which again makes sense because women who don't aren't taken out of the working force but men who have children are paid more than men who do not have children. And so that widens the gap even more between spouses even. Absolutely. And then between that, that uh, wage gap, there's also the fact that like women of color are also disproportionately affected as well, right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, but one of the things is that the wage gap between men and women of color is not as severe as between people who are not uh, white mm -hmm. and people who are white. So there's, there's just a lot of wage gaps that need to be kind of closed and, and addressed. We received some viewer submitted questions, so I want to get to at least a few of these. We have a minute left. Um, one question is, how can women balance having a career and family without it being seen as a negative thing to a, you know, company? Right. Well, that's one of the things we have to change the mindset of employers for the most part uh, when women are taken out of the workforce for various reasons simply because of biology. It's just not fair to punish women because of their biology. Um, but as far as balancing, uh, if I had the secret to how to balance uh, work and life and all of that kind of stuff, I'd be rich. Uh, but one of the things that I just encourage people is that a lot of time is wasted on social media media and on our phones and those types of things and so one of the things that we can do I mean I can't make employers change their mindset but one of the things I can do is control how I manage my time and I can get more balance in my life based upon the choices that I make it's interesting to me how all of this correlates and I appreciate you being on with us today if you guys have more, uh, more questions for Robin you can reach out to her at 661-496-8759 or via email at rrpaggy at gmail.com thank you for being on with us I know it was a busy day for you today at Circle 17 with sunrise this morning and us today. So thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Appreciate it.